Are you ready to see if this thing works? So am I. Look at it. <laughs> it's, so, it's so dainty. Oh, fasten your seat belts, man. We have an exciting video today. We're gonna hook up this teeny tiny ram pump. Now, I got lots of emails of those of you who wanted the plans for these and asked how I built it. I actually didn't build this one. This ram pump was a gift from my new friend and fellow creator, Seth, from Land to House. Land to House, fellow YouTube creator. He's got a great channel. They do homesteading. He does a lot of stuff with the ram pumps. I'm gonna put his link here. Please, as a favor to me, uh, because he is a good guy, a great family guy, go over and subscribe to his channel, um, because I'm subscribed and I enjoy his videos. But he sent this to me and actually came out to the Mother Earth News Fair and we had a really nice time. Gave me a t-shirt. Uh, built. Anyway, he built this for me and asked me to test it out. He said that if I wanted a bigger one, this, is, this one here is half inch, uh, if you wanted a three quarter, he'd send that as well. Maybe we'll have to try that out as well. But this is a tiny, tiny little guy. It's very well put together. We have the same thing, same principle as we did before on my big one, right? Come on now, focus. There we go. Check valve, check valve. So we have to, I was gonna wait to put this together until I went to the uh, pipe store to get some fittings, but I went through all my piles. You wanna see my piles? Piles of fittings on the homestead. You can never have enough. This is my irrigation pile in the grip. I was scrounging through everything that I had to try to find what I need. I think I pretty, I think I have everything we, we need to get it hooked up today. And of course, here's one of my iron pipe piles. Yeah, you know, I every time I put it in a box and I can never find what I want, I end up digging it out. And uh, well, it's always a good job for Jack to come out here and put things back in the box. This stuff was from my granddad. Uh, he's collected all these pipe fittings and man, has it been I mean, next to the bolt box, this is the second most valuable of my shop possessions. So the ram pump that Seth sent, was a, it's a half inch. Mine's an inch and a quarter. You can see the difference in sizes there. This is what we're dealing with. So we need to convert this down. Ideally, I'd have a, another inch and a quarter union, which of course I don't have, uh, so that I could uh, just simply spin it out, and spin a new one in, but we'll pick one up next time. But that's not gonna prevent us from, from doing what we want to do today, now is it? So. You know, I've, I've, I've always wondered, see, there's kind of a, always a debate between which is the better pipe sealer. The pipe dope type of stuff here, I was going to use this, the heavy threaded sealing compound, but when I pulled it out, it's all dry and it's worn out. So I'm going to use the, the Teflon tape. If you're a plumber or a pipe fitter and you've got extensive experience with this, let us know which is... I'm sure you guys have had this discussion before. I mean, it's what you do. Uh, which one's better? Is it the, the Teflon or is it the pipe dope? Years ago, I went into a, um, a shop. I was gonna buy a new pressure washer. I had my, my Jeep parts business and we were always washing parts and greasy, greasy things. And I'd been using, you know, just like a gas powered, high powered pressure washer and uh, you know, it was noisy and, you know, you have the gas engine and all that stuff and it was, I didn't need one that was that portable. So I thought, well, I'll go down there and get an electric one, get a really nice electric pressure washer and then we can wire it up to the shop, hit the switch and man, we'll be in business, right? So uh, what I was going to go in there and planning on spending like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars for something like that. And I left with like a, a forty five hundred dollar hot seat. <laughs> guy was the, was the best salesman. I had no intention of buying a hot sea. A hot sea, uh, if you don't know, it's like a, it's a hot water super pressure washer that runs off of diesel. And they're nice. Uh, they're expensive. But uh, you know, so I, he asked me what I was doing. And I uh, said, oh, I'm cleaning parts. And he said, you don't want that. And he showed me the hot sea. And I said, how much is it? I said, well, I definitely don't want that one. I'll guarantee you that. And he asked me a question that, that changed everything. He said, uh, all right, let me ask you a question. So if you have a greasy, oily lasagna plate, right? And you got to clean it in the sink with soap and water, what would you prefer? What would work better? Hot soapy water or cold soapy water? And that was all it took. And I left there with my hot seat. But uh, long story short here, so the um, reason I'm telling you this is that 
they dealt a lot with high pressure lines on those pressure washers, you know, like those things get up, what, 4,000 PSI or so? And he was, his shop guys, they were of the belief that the blue, the blue Teflon tape was superior to the white. And that, he gave me a roll and I used it up, long since used it up and I, I don't know. I mean, I, of course it was good. I don't remember anything leaking, but what's the difference between the blue and the white? Calling all plumbers here. Boy, Seth, you did a nice job on this. Even put the valves and the unions. Be careful with these plastic ones. They've got O-rings in them. We don't want to lose those. I'm going to take those out because I'll inevitably lose those. Put those in our pocket and remind me to put them back in before we, we go. Okay, so the only thing I need to add here to Seth's pump is we've got to, I've got to put a 90 on it because that's, that's, the way my, that's the way my thing is all set up there. So I've got this brass hub spigot 90. This is called a hub spigot. Um, well, I'm, I think it is. That's what we used to call them when I ordered them. I used to have an excavating company and I worked running heavy equipment for other excavating companies, dozers and excavators and rubber tire hose and all those things and did a lot of pipe work. And a hub, what we called it, these were, those were ABS fittings, was the female and the spigot was the the mail, so I don't know for threaded fittings if it's the same, but I, I think it probably is. Okay, I think I think we're all ready to go down there. Now, before let me get my tools together here. Before we go down there, I wanted to let's take a uh, let's measure. Let's fire up the old ram pump and let's measure how much it's how much it's uh, flowing in, in a how long does it take to fill a gallon. Uh, and then we can do a comparison with the little half incher to see how much it flows in the gallon. I like this idea, concept. If this pumps enough water for me, this would be better because maintenance, maintenance costs are going to be less. The replacing these check valves are going to be a fraction of, uh, of the big ones. And it may just be enough. We'll see. And it's probably going to be quieter. So I'll be interested to see how it performs here. So before we install the, the baby pump, let's... Uh, Go check our water to see how much this is flowing here. They're quite simple to start. You just push that check valve down, usually just a couple times. Oh, it's got some, some sticks in there or something. Get a little wet. There we go. Usually two or three times we'll do it. Incredible. So a lot of questions about the efficiency of this pump it being super inefficient. And yes, they're not very efficient. Uh, and uh, some, some of you wanted to know, you know, isn't there a way that we can capture this water so it's not just wasted that's coming out of this waste valve? What I failed to explain is it's not being wasted. It's, uh, it's, being, it's just running right down here to the head, to the top of our pond where it normally runs. So the, the small stream runs down through this marshy area here anyway. All we're doing is that we're just borrowing a little bit of water off of it uh, and redirecting it up to our water tower. So all of this wastewater is simply going where it would normally go anyway, right here to the, right into the, directly into the pond. So I wanted to check out the flow of the inch and a quarter pump and compare it. So I've got a, we got here 96 ounces. This is, uh, I don't know what it is in milliliters. You'll have to figure that out on your own. 96 ounces, so half a gallon, and we'll time it here and we'll see how long it takes and then we can get our GPM. So, all right, so we'll start here at four, go. Now, when I've tested this in the past, when it was working optimally, that's with brand new check valves. It did, I think just under a gallon and a half a minute. Boy, I should know better than to be doing math on the camera here. All right, we're coming up, 10 seconds to go. Okay, so 96 ounces at, right there. That's actually 30 seconds for half a gallon. 
So we'll just use the half a gallon measurement because then I don't have to do any math on the camera. So 30, 96 ounces in exactly 30 seconds, the inch and a quarter pump. Let's go put the little one in and see what it's going to be able to do. All right, let's see if we can't get everything hooked up here. All right, so what we gotta do is, oh, I wish I had a union. I could just spin it out and we'd be, we'd be in luck. So we've gotta, we gotta steal a few things off of here. That's all right, we can do that there. So we gotta put this in line. This is pretty long, longer than mine is, isn't it? Okay, so let's, uh, let's start by seeing if we can't take this loose here. Should have brought another pipe wrench. Ginger, heart racer, come here, come here. You come. Heart racer goes where she wants. Okay, so actually the old big ram pump, it needs rebuilt anyway. I'll take that back up to the shop. So now, what we do have going for us is that we got this brass, this valve is brass. So if we could spin this out, this union out, that would be really, really nice. Or the good thing about brass is that it, uh, it doesn't corrode. The galvanized, on the other hand, it does, but I don't know that it's in my budget to buy brass pipe. <laughs> if it even exists, probably does some, for some special. Come on, don't let me down. Oh, I should be holding this one here. I think we're gonna... Oh, we're in luck, guys, we're in luck. We got it. This is gonna be... We're gonna be going here in no time. That ram pump action. Okay, so we just have two connections to make. Heart Racer, come here, come here. Heart racer, she's always helping out. So, if you're wondering, or uh, lots of people wondering what type of breed heart racer is, well, you know, that's a good question. But I am of the belief that she's half marsupial and half Jack Russell Terrier, and half trailer park. And that's where we got her. What we got her was uh, uh, our mailman. You know, we wanted to get another little dog. I, I like little dogs. And I think they bring so much love and joy to your family. They're so funny and it's just they're just a pleasure. I think they're a pleasure to have. And so we put the word out to our neighbors if anyone knew uh, about a dog that needed a home. And lo and behold, and not too far away, Heart Racer was looking for a home. So after two additional trips to the shop to get the fittings that I forgot, we are ready. All right, thanks for not letting me forget those O-rings. Gonna put our O-rings in here. We're ready to go, man. Ready to go here. So we're gonna hook up our union now. These pipes are gonna be, you know, the drive pipe and the supply pipe are gonna be completely disproportionate to the size of this ram pump. I wonder if it matters. I'm gonna find out here. We'll connect these unions up. We got this all converted. We're coming in with an inch and a quarter. Coming out with a. I might better move my rock, huh? I don't want that's that plastic is. That's not gonna be good for the plastic. We'll move our rock over here. Get on the metal valve there. There we go. Straighten this up. We want our ram pump to run up and down. Now you can you can adjust the the volume by tilting this valve. The more you tilt it, the less it'll pump. Uh, but also my experience has been that uh, the less reliable it is, the pump, that check valve doesn't seem to like to run as well as that angle and it shuts off a lot, or mine does, it does anyway. Okay, so this is our expansion pressure tank. I will need to support that here, but it's not gonna stop us from all right, we'll close this valve. We gotta build up the back pressure, right? Not gonna have the luxury of a, uh... I wonder if I shouldn't put that rock a little further over here. The luxury of a pressure valve, but I 
I'm just going to rely upon my, that's better, my experience to be able to know when to open it. This valve's open. All right, final check, flight check. Everything looks tight, good. Put our tools away. Let's do it. Okay, the drama is just palpable. We're kind of pushed for time here. Like, we're going heading over to our neighbor's house. It's uh, Sunday morning, and he, we're going to do sort of a barn right raising over there. And I don't, I'll ask him if I can video it, but if I might be able to share that with you, that'd be cool. We have great neighbors. Here we go. Oh, it's so little. Let's open up our valve all the way. We're gonna have to build that back pressure. We're building pressure. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it's so it's so dainty. <laughs> Oh, that's, a, that's a delightful little thing. It's just delightful. Good job, Seth. <laughs> Out there's happiness for me. <laughs> All right, so we're building. <laughs> it's kind of like having a puppy. It's uh, we're building pressure here in the tank. So uh, this line, you know, our dry, uh, line drained completely when I unhooked it. So let's uh, see if we can't start. Start, crack that line, start filling it up. Oh, I, I heard the pressure escape. Oh, opened it too much. Very small amount. This is gonna be a, I should have put a valve, I should have captured that water in there, but I didn't, I knew better. So there's no question it runs. We're gonna have to wait to find out, will it lift? Will this little tiny pump lift all the way up to the water tower? And what will the volume be if it will? So we got, I gotta head over to my neighbors. We gotta be there at 10. So uh, we'll uh, pick this up on the next one. But uh, good job, Seth. This is quite a thing. <laughs>